Hello everyone! At this time, I would like to explore the window of the Microsoft Excel. I'll be using the Excel 2016 version. So let's start it off with the, the application. Just have to click it if it is already displayed in the desktop. So here it is. Just have to click blank workbook. So we shall now uh, explore the basic uh, component or the basic elements of the Microsoft Excel window. So by default, the program or the file name of our uh, file is book one Excel. So the Microsoft Excel window has uh, three basic elements. So we have here the what we call toolbars here the file home insert page layout formulas data and so on uh, is the what we call toolbar or the toolbars under the toolbar we have here the what we call ribbon so under the home toolbar or home menu we have here the paste cut copy format painter the font formatting alignment the numbers styles and so on so this is the what we call ribbon next in the insert uh, menu of the tool, toolbar we have here the pictures table and so on the page layout so we call this one ribbon so in every uh, menu we have in the toolbar there is this what we call ribbon so you can use the ribbons depends on the task that you are engaged in in the use of the Microsoft Excel application. So let's now move on to the next part of the Microsoft Excel. So here we have here the what we call name box. It's here where you can see the name of the active cell. So at this time the active cell is D4. Okay, so this one is the what we call active cell. D4 because the cell is under the column D and in the row 4. Okay. Next is we have the formula bar. The formula bar displays the formula when you start it in the worksheet. So, for example, so I want to create a formula like uh, 15 plus 10. So, you can see here in the formula bar the content of the cell. Okay, so suppose I want to see the result of this formula, I just have to click enter key. Here you have 25. So that means the program will just display the result of the formula. It will not display the content. But you can see the formula here in the formula bar. Okay, so let's move on. Here is the what we call column. This part is the what we call column. Columns are labeled by letters. Like for example, it's A. This one is the what we call column A, column B, C, and so on. This one, the, the column anyway, is the vertical uh, part of the cell. Okay, so let's move on to the row. So rows are labeled by number. Okay, so here we have uh, row 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, and so on. That's about the rows or row. So here you can see the name of the current sheet. It is sheet 1. If you want to add more sheet in this workbook, you just have to click new sheet button here to add more sheet. Okay, so in my example earlier, I have here a content in the sheet 1 it's 25 and if I want to move on to sheet 2 to work on another activity or task I just have to click sheet 2 and sheet 3 and if I want to delete the sheet name or the sheet I just have to right click on the sheet then click delete okay delete or if you want to rename the sheet just have to double click on the sheet name then type the current or the new name like for example activity 2 okay so, those are the what we call worksheet. Okay, so suppose 
I'm already done with my activity in Microsoft Excel. I just have to save the file. Okay, so suppose I want to adjust the column width. This is how we do it. I'll first make some content. Like for example, 10, 5, 15, 20. So I just would like to emphasize that the very purpose of the Microsoft Excel is to make some computations. The basic purpose is to make use of this application as a computing or a calculation tool. Okay, so I just would like to give you a simple demonstration of how this program works in terms of computation. So like, suppose I would like to do some addition, just have to start with the equal sign, then click on the value I want to add, then click on the operator you want to include in your formula, like addition, then click on under value, then add again, click, add again, okay, draw, add again, then click on the last value you want to include then enter so this is the, already the result 50 you can see here that uh, the content of the cell instead it displays to you the result but you can see the formula formula <laughs> the formula that they have used in that computation by looking at the formula bar and if you want to edit uh, the formula you just have to go back to that uh, cell then double click and do some edit okay or change so that's about the computation in microsoft excel okay so suppose you are done with your activity and you want to save the file just have to click file here then click save okay or save us if you want to maybe change the location or the file name if you had already saved the file but since it is first time just have to click save okay then go to the location where you want this file be saved like suppose i want it be saved in the documents and i want to name the book the, the default name of the the workbook is book one okay and the type is excel workbook so i want to change it with activity one suppose okay so i save it in the my documents in the documents click save if you are done then close the program check it okay to its location like documents then that's activity one look for it activity one so this is it and then you can open the file you have created in that application